Hi Fight Fans, today in this video, the UFC president threw Nate Diaz into the clutches of one of the most dangerous predators in the UFC. Diaz only has one fight left on his UFC contract and is going to go out with a bang, as Chemayev has promised the funeral of Nate Diaz. We will also discuss what analysts think about why the UFC staged this fight. What was the meaning of this? So watch until the end to find out more. The fight between Hamzat Shemaev and Nate Diaz is almost a done deal. Contracts have not yet been signed, but both fighters have already confirmed that the fight will take place. This fight will be the main event, which is the second non-title fight in a year as a main event, with Masvidal and Covington being the first one. Diaz has long and persistently demanded a money fight. A year ago, he threatened to put the upstart Shemaev in his place, but then Dana White spared him. Resentful and under constant attack from Diaz, Dana White threw Nate into the clutches of one of the most dangerous predators in the UFC. And as you can see, Diaz wanted this fight. He wants to go out with a big bang. As mentioned before, Diaz has one last fight left on his contract, and Nate, for obvious reasons, asked White for the money fight. Or something epic, win or die. He demanded Shemaev a year ago when Boars was at the top of the hype. Now the golden ashes from Hamzat have crumpled a little, but the physical strength and incredible skills have not gone away. Nate has stepped up in the last few months. The guy never has thought about his health and is always willing to fight anyone. And now being in an obvious economic crisis, he is ready for any challenges that come his way. It is known that Diaz has a contract with the BFC sitting on his desk, and Nate is ready to risk health for the sake of earning. This fight will also have a lot of trash talk. Nate will certainly start in on Hamzat and Hamzat will answer, but Shemaev has already promised that his last contract fight would be his opponent's live funeral. Together with the UFC, I will organize the funeral of Nate Diaz, ESPN journalist Brett Akimoto reported of the undefeated Swedish fighter. The Chechen fighter is on the right track in his career. He is currently focused on achieving results. He has a long and hopefully successful career ahead of him. So what can Diaz do to oppose him? Well, sorry, we don't really follow how he lives, where and with whom he trains, but we have seen his latest fights, and his physical form is not impressive. The duel with Masvidal was stopped by a doctor. Now, Nate did protest that fight furiously, and okay, the Edwards fight went all the way, but Diaz was a little painful to watch. And for Diaz, this will not be the first meeting with a Russian-speaking fighter, as he met Habib Nurmagomedov twice but both times were outside of the octagon, and in the literal sense, the two conflicts between Nate and Habib happened not far from the cage. Habib and Diaz constantly had skirmishes on social networks, so a personal meeting would not go peacefully. The fight between Habib and Nate never came close to actually happening, as Nurmagomedov was building a legacy at lightweight, and Diaz had just moved up to the welterweight division. Now Nate will have to fight with a more versatile version of Habib. Hamzat can not only wrestle superbly, but he is also excellent in the stance. True, not everyone appreciates Boars at its true worth, according to Jake Paul, Shemaev is a fake Habib, and the blogger, like many fans, believe in Diaz's victory. But what do you think? Who do you think will win, and how? Be sure to let us know in the comments as we love seeing what you all think. For example, former UFC fighter Chael Sonnen thinks that a fight with Nate Diaz will allow Hamzat Shemaev to become an even more popular fighter. According to Sonnen, after this fight, Diaz will get what he wanted for so long. He will get to leave the UFC. He said, one of the top contenders for the title is fighting Diaz. This fight will slow down Shemaev's rise. This fight will not bring him any closer to the title. This fight was exactly what the UFC wanted. Shemaev needs to be promoted even more, and for this, there is nothing better than to perform in the main event of the evening in the media capital of the world in New York. Diaz needs the last fight on his contract so he can leave. Everyone gets what they want. But I, the spectator, don't want this fight, said Sonnen on his YouTube channel. Joe Rogan also said he doesn't want Nate Diaz to fight his last contract fight against the undefeated Hamzat Shemaev. Rogan said, I don't want to see a fight between Shemaev and Diaz. Actually, the only reason I'm interested in this fight is because Nate Diaz can show if you're a real fighter. Diaz is a monster, a real warrior. If every fight lasted 100 rounds, then Nate would never lose, said Joe. And hey, we fully agree with him. So friends, are we in for a grandiose spectacle? Let's just hope that they don't cripple each other and may the best man win. 
And yes, friends, we will be sure to keep you informed. But that is all for today, so don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel because it does help the channel grow. Thank you for watching.